Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we're going to be recapping Winter House Season 3, Episode 5, How the West Was Fun. We continue from last episode where Katie and Schwartz are making out in the car. As they all go inside, Danielle sees Alex and Jordan taking a photo together, and she is instantly jealous, again. I could feel her rage through the screen. It's like any time they slightly interact, she's already jealous. And I get that Alex is kind of pursuing Jordan, but Jordan hasn't really been like flirting back. She's just been accepting the compliments, which she has a right to do. If Danielle really has a problem with it, I feel like she should tell Alex that she has a problem with it, but instead she's trying to play it cool. Kyle and Schwartz go outside to talk about Katie and the kiss in the car. And Schwartz says hooking up with someone with the same name as his ex-wife feels like a slap in the face to her. But you see, it's happened before. Bravo shows a clip of Schwartz telling Katie, like maybe from a couple years ago, like, I made out with a girl in Las Vegas and Katie was like, what was her name? And Schwartz is like, her name was Kate. And Katie was like, how could you? And was like super upset about it. It's weird that while they were married, he didn't have any issues cheating on her with someone with the same, well, similar name as her. But he has issues after being divorced from her, dating someone or hooking up with someone with a similar or same name as her. Especially since her one rule is don't date anyone in the friend group. And he literally did that by sleeping with Raquel. That's a whole nother situation for our Vanderpump Rules recap, and I'm trying not to dive into it, but I have some thoughts on that for sure. So let me know if you want me to recap that whole season so I can tell you guys about it. Back to Winterhouse. Jordan and Alex are chatting outside, and Danielle is even angrier. When they come back in from chatting, Danielle immediately tries to get Alex to go to bed with her. And he rejects her. He's not trying to sleep with her. He's trying to party and have fun. He's trying to party and have fun with his friends. And it just completely ruins her vibe. As Alex is talking to Jordan, Danielle mouths to him, stop talking to Jordan. And then she angrily goes outside. She grabs a beer from the snowbank, trying to play it off, and Alex follows her. For the first time, Danielle finally communicates to Alex that she doesn't want him to hook up with anybody in the house. But Alex reminds her that he's been flirting with Jordan since day one. Danielle then responds, fine, go ahead and pursue that dead end. If you think it's a dead end, then why is it such a big deal? They argue for a little bit, and then Alex is like, you told me to stop talking to Jordan. And Danielle keeps insisting that she never said that, even though she literally did. Danielle then goes to her room, changes, and then gets in the hot tub and just cries. Katie is still all over Schwartz. She's really trying to work to get that D. But Schwartz really isn't reciprocating at all. She even crawls in his bed to cuddle with him, but he faces away from her, making her the big spoon and him the little spoon, essentially. After Danielle crawls in bed from the hot tub, she texts Alex and tells him to come to her room. To which he does, but Danielle's passed out because she was drunk, and she's snoring super loudly. So Alex, being a bit annoyed, just goes back to his room. The next morning, Amanda tells Danielle about the tip with Alex. And Danielle and Alex kind of talk it out and hug it out, and Danielle just kind of blames it on the alcohol. As Schwartz is talking to Katie, Malia, and Casey about his flight back home, Malia's like, why didn't you cuddle with Katie last night? And he makes a face, and they're all like, I mean floody, I mean floody. It's cowboy party time, and they invited the whole town. Schwartz gives Katie some turquoise boot earrings that he bought earlier. Then Aisha from Below Deck Down Under arrives to the party too. Katie tells Aisha that she's been flirting with Schwartz, but Aisha needs to refer to her as Floody because Schwartz has like a whole name thing that he's got a problem with. Brian pursues a bunch of women at the party and then he finds one that will make out with him and when he leaves to go pee and comes back, she's completely gone. She just vanished in thin air. As Riley is telling Katie and Aisha that she made out with some long-haired god, Schwartz comes in and Aisha's like, why haven't you slept with Katie? He replies, her name isn't Katie. And then makes a huge deal out of her name once again. Katie is finally over it and she just storms out. It's her name. Like, get over it already. And she should be angry about it. And that's where we end episode 5. What did you guys think down in the comments? Are you getting increasingly annoyed with Schwartz's whole name thing? I really just want to grab him through the TV and be like, get over it. This is the most immature thing ever. Like, Katie told you don't date anyone in the friend group, and you proceeded to pursue someone in the friend group, 
and that wasn't a big deal and you just kept telling her to get over it but you won't pursue someone with the same name even though you're still pursuing her you're just making a big deal out of it which is kind of annoying to me what do you guys think tell me in the comments and make sure you like or dislike the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time bye guys